ArcGIS Server allows you to disseminate maps and information to the public. Here you see a web application that has been extended to include a live interactive map. The JavaScript API, which is new with ArcGIS 9.3, makes it easier for web application developers to add maps to existing web pages. As I panned, or as I zoom, you'll notice that changes made by the GIS analyst in ArcGIS Desktop are now available. These changes are readily available to any application that is connected to the Enterprise Geo database. The public sees up-to-date information in the web application, however the flow of information in relation to the public isn't one way. Citizens also provide a valuable source of knowledge about the infrastructure and what is going on in the community. They can report problems that can be logged directly into the GIS and dealt with accordingly. At the bottom of the page, you see that there is a link to the 311 call center that provides the public a mechanism to communicate their concerns. On this page, a citizen can report a problem or register a complaint, such as a pothole on their street. They can enter key information about who they are, what their address is, Here, this information then can be used, and a GIS analyst would publish a model on the ArcGIS server to take that address information provided by the citizen and update a geodatabase layer to visualize and perform spatial analysis about the type and distribution of the calls of the submitted incidents. So here you've seen how we could take the map, we could take geoprocessing tasks, publish those, and incorporate those into web applications. The ability to communicate information effectively is extremely important in the decision-making process. With ArcGIS 9.3, we are introducing an Adobe Flex API to provide another way to disseminate your GIS content. If you interface with senior decision-makers, you will likely find that they are often the trigger for GIS technology in the organization. Managers need to have an intuitive and fast application to view the current state of operations. The executive dashboard application is designed to be very easy to use and provides managers and decision makers a way to have more awareness about the assets they are managing. Access to all this current and spatially accurate information allows them to be more informed in the event that they have to answer to questions about what is occurring in the community. For example, you see that we have a series of work orders in which we can know where the work is happening within the organization. This can be configured to be refreshed at certain intervals, and as the refresh occurs, any changes that are made, such as the model that we ran earlier in the desktop, will now be available for the manager to easily access and find out information about that particular work order. Also as a manager, I also need to quickly respond to events such as public 311 calls. I can easily hover over any of these and locate those on the map and see the details of the calls. If I click on the alarms column, I can see that these calls have not been addressed yet. I can browse to any of these and see what's going on. It appears that there seems to be a lot of complaints from citizens about potholes in the area. If I expand the Capital Improvements widget, I can see here that we have an actual Capital Improvement project that's planned in the area. Due to a large number of complaints, I can initiate a work order to dispatch a crew to patch the potholes. I would also decide to move up the starting date of the repaving project. So getting access to spatially accurate and up-to-date information leads to better maps, analysis, and ultimately better management decisions for your organization.